What's up guys? It's Building Beast. So a lot of my population, obviously it's 2024, works in an office setting. So we do a lot of sitting. So I want to go over three upper body moves that you can do right in your chair while you're doing those long days at the office. The very first thing we're going to do is a thoracic car. So we're going to do three cars today and just quick breakdown. Car stands for controlled articular rotations. It's a fancy way of saying joint movement. So our thoracic car is our upper back. So what we're going to do, make sure we have our feet planted on the floor. We're going to gently hug ourselves here. I'm going to start off in extension first. So I want to extend only from my upper back and up. I want to try to keep everything in my lower half as still as possible. So we're coming here. Extend up nice and far. Chin up to the ceiling. I'm going to bend to my left. Lateral bending. Good. And as I bend as far as I can here, I'm going to start to come forward and rotate down into full flexion. Now I start to twist and bend again to this other side. Nice. Now we're going to do the same. We're going to bend, twist and rotate. Now I'm going in that opposite direction here. This feels really good on the spine if done right. So rotate to the other side. Lateral bend as far as possible. Extend out. Good. And then I would rinse and repeat that. You can do that anywhere from like three to five reps, keeping it nice and slow. You don't want to do these fast. You really want to focus on that upper back rotation. I already feel a little open here. So our second exercise we're going to do is our shoulder car, which is going to be very good because our shoulders can oftentimes be in the same position a lot and they can get a little tense. So we're going to start with our thumbs, well, our palm facing up. And I'm going to reach out as far as possible up until I feel a block. Once I feel that block, I'm going to rotate my thumb and my palm is going to follow the direction of that rotation. I'm not trying to hike my shoulder up. I'm really trying to keep this shoulder blade down. And then I want to think like I'm reaching behind this chair and reaching for the opposite side leg pocket. So I'm making like a chicken wing back here. And now I just rotate that pattern. Another way to think of is like, you're trying to grab for a, a baton in a relay race. That's how I learned. Coming across. Same thing, three to five reps, keeping it very slow. What you're looking for is to feel that spin of the shoulder in its joint. And that feels really, really good. Do this nice and slow, three to five reps. The last thing we're going to do is work on our neck. A lot of times that neck is in, this, in one position. A lot of us have that anterior neck posture or we're just tucking our chin so much looking down at our phones or at our computer. So we're going to do some neck car and go through full range of motion here. So I want to make sure our posture is tall. I'm going to start with a neutral head position. Same thing. I'm going to start extending back. This is going to be very similar to that thoracic car. Good. So I'm going to start to rotate. As far looking over the shoulder as possible. Then I start to rotate down, tucking my chin. Just moving the mic out the way. Look over to the other shoulder. Bringing it here. And reverse. Nice. Good. So you can definitely play with these three exercises. You can do it right in your chair. I think it's very important that every hour you try to do some type of mobility work. It's because our body doesn't like staying in one position for too long. And then that's how we start to compromise and get a lot of these postural issues that start to affect us in other areas of our life. So we started with thoracic cars. 
We went into shoulder car, then we finished with neck cars. Try those out, three to five reps on each side, going very, very slow. Do that every hour and let me know how you feel.